So friends, if you have SBI cashback credit card and if you want to know how to activate this card in 10 minutes, then this is the video for you. I'm going to guide you through each and every step. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, before going ahead, let me tell you one thing that you do get a cashback credit card in this kind of packaging. Once you open it, uh, you get the card and this is how the cashback credit card looks like. And also, you do get a paper like this. You have to scan this QR code uh, to complete the activation process. So it will take you to the website or uh, it will take you to SBI card application. Now, if you don't want to use that paper, then all you can do is just simply go to Play Store or App Store and download SBI card application. Once you download it, just simply open it. And it doesn't matter if you're using an Android phone or an iPhone, the process is going to be same. Now, once the application is started, uh, you'll get this kind of interface. You can check out all the SBI card over here. If you want to apply for some card, you can select apply now option. Now, down here, you get two options. One is sign up and login. If you already have an account, you can simply select login option, enter the username and password and complete the login process. But if you don't have account in SBI card, then all you have to do is just simply select sign up option, enter the card details over here, enter card number, CVV and your date of birth and then select generate OTP. So I have entered the card details. Let's tap on generate OTP option. You will receive an OTP on your registered number, enter the OTP and select submit. I have entered the OTP. Let's tap on submit. Now it will take you to the next page where you have to create your username and password and then complete the sign up process. Now in my case, uh, I'm already registered. So it is showing me the username. So I have to complete the login process directly. Now once you complete the sign up process, again, it will take you to login page. So complete the login process and go ahead. Now when you complete the login, it will take you to the permission page. You have to allow some permission. So tap on allow. You have to do the verification. Make sure that the registered number is in the mobile phone. Select the SIM and tap on continue option. Now you can see it is doing the verification. Also make sure that you have valid SMS pack. Again, you will receive an OTP on your registered number. Enter the OTP and select continue. Now once the verification is complete, it will take you to MPIN page. So you have to create MPIN and then select continue. So I have created MPIN. Let's tap on continue option. You can see it is saying that MPIN has set successfully. So tap on OK, accept the terms and conditions and then tap on accept. Now it will take you to activate card page. Uh, when you receive the card for the first time, it is temporarily blocked. So you have to activate it on this page, tap on this box and then select activate. You can see card is activated successfully. Tap on next option. You have to create card pin. So create the pin over here and then select set pin. So I have created the pin. Let's select set pin option. You will receive an OTP on your registered number and registered email ID. Enter the OTP and select submit. You can see we have successfully generated the pin. Again, tap on next option. Now on the next page, you have to manage the card usage. So if you want to use the uh, card in, for domestic transaction, if you want to use it for online transaction, you can turn it on. If you don't want, you can turn it off. You can uh, you know, change this setting as per your requirement. If you want to do changes in international transaction, you can select that. And again, if you want to use it for online transaction, you can tap uh, on the toggle button and you can turn it on. If you want to use it for POS transaction, contact, uh, contactless uh, transaction and ATM transaction, you can turn on this as well. Now, once you change the settings, you can just simply select confirm with OTP option. Again, you will receive an OTP on your registered number and email ID, enter the OTP and select submit. And now you can see update is successful. Tap on next option. It is showing the card details over here. Now again, select I acknowledge and go ahead. You have got a congratulation page saying that you have successfully updated settings for your SBI credit card. Tap on go to home option. Now this is the main home page of SBI card application. You can check out your available credit limit. If you want to do the settings for your card, you can simply go to manage card option and you can change the settings from there. Also, if you go down, if you want to check statement for your card, you have view statement detail option over here as well. So yes, this is how simple it is to activate SBI cashback credit card within 10 minutes. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.